Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. I've been requested to make a video on cancer vaccine because recently there were some reviews regarding the development of cancer vaccine by Russia and Germany or places like that. So people get really excited, you know, we'll get a vaccine for cancer. The answer to that is that we had vaccine for cancers for ages. We had it. We had many, many, not one, many cancer vaccines out there. So if you are uh, concerned about the cancer vaccines, if you want to know whether we have cancer vaccines or not, we have plenty. But they do not work uh, the way that we want them to work to. They work at a certain extent for some particular phases of cancer and some particular type of cancers. So here's a list of cancer vaccines for you to let you know is that cancer vaccine is not a huge breakthrough. It's already there. And why would you make a vaccine for cancer? Because cancer is not an infection. Although some infection can cause cancer, some viral infections can lead to the convert transformation of a normal cell into cancer cell, but it's not actually an infection. It's the cell's natural ability to grow and divide and the way to the cell respond to a growth factor signal is altered. The cell's behavior is altered. Right. So vaccination is nothing to deal with that. Vaccination is required for diseases which are caused by infective agents like virus, bacteria. Right. So in this case, this is not the case. But still, let's look at the vaccination that we uh, that we already have for cancer, starting with the first one, Provenge. Vaccine type is dendritic cell vaccine. Dendritic cell is one of the cell of our immune system. Target cancer type is a prostate cancer. So this Provenge uh, brand, Provenge, this is the brand name is written in there, Provenge. This particular uh, vaccine is used for the prostate cancer, particularly the dendritic cell vaccine. It enhances the immune response by activating the dendritic cell of our body to target prostatic acid phosphatase, that is PAP. A prostate cancer antigen that is found so yeah for prostate cancer the pap the amount of pap increased so to get rid of that if pap is an antigen then our immune system cell can help us like dendritic cell can help us to clear this antigen so enhance the activity of dendritic cell using this provenge vaccine for prostate cancer next is cervarix it's a recombinant vaccine for cervical cancer. As you see, CR at the beginning obviously is related to cervix or cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is mostly caused by human papilloma virus, HPV, particularly HPV type 16 and 18. It prevents the infection by high risk HPV strains like HPV 16 and 18 by reducing the risk of cervical cancer. And the cervarix is a recombinant vaccine type. Third one is Gardasil. It's a recombinant vaccine, another recombinant vaccine developed via recombinant technology, recombinant DNA technology. Again, cervic, it is in the cervical, vulvar, vulvar, vaginal and anal cancers. All are caused by HPVs because HPVs generally cause cancer of the genital area, growing areas. So HPV type 6, 11, 16, 18, 31, 33, 45, 52 and 58. All this types of HPV can be tamed, can be, can be, uh, the cancer caused by all this HPV can be cured by the Gardasil. Protects against multiple high-risk HPV types by generating an immune response against L1 protein of HPV. Okay, it generates immune response against the HPV protein, particularly the L1 protein of the HPV virus. Okay. Gardasil 9, another recombinant vaccine. Again, HPV associated cancers can be targeted by this Gardasil. Gardasil, any Gardasil vaccine actually target HPV. Gardasil 9 particularly target 9 HPV types including the additional high risk beyond the Gardasil. Okay, 9 very high risk types of HPVs. So, Gardasil is kind of widely used in USA for all these HPV induced cancers. Okay, next what we have, Imlegic. Imlegic or Imlegic you can say, Oncolytic virus vaccine used in melanoma, multiple melanoma or other examples of melanoma. Used as a genetically modified herpes simplex virus. So HSV1 virus is genetically modified to infect and kill melanoma cells while stimulating an immune response 
around the way but the problem is that hsv the herpes simplex virus has its effects symptoms so it's very difficult to control the hsv symptoms although hsv is modified in such a way so that the hsv manifestation of symptoms are prevented but only it will be targeted to the melanoma cells so that the hsv1 can kill the melanoma cells if you can get rid of the melanoma cells that means the cancer cells are gone that is our approach but there are much more challenges to that next is bcg vaccine yeah we all have that in india we have bcg vaccine right the bcg vaccine is live attenuated bacterial vaccine which is a very effective in bladder cancer stimulates non specific immune response in the bladder activating immune cells to attack cancer cells okay and you will see in all these cases of cancer or vaccines we are somehow or the other modulating our immune system because we are making our immune system a strong bet to get rid of the cancer cells to fight against the cancer cells because we know that immune system cells has this remarkable capabilities to find out what cell is normal what cell is infected by virus what cell is uh, transforming to the cancer cell in so they have all this knowledge to distinguish this categories of cells and we utilize that by producing vaccines of various kinds next is hepcisab b hepcisab b recombinant vaccine against hepatitis b virus infection prevention of hepatitis b mediated carcinoma hepatitis b in a chronic case can called hepatocellular carcinoma cancer of the liver that can be prevented with the hep hepcisab b prevents hepatitis b virus infection which is a major risk for liver cancer next is recombivax hb is another recombinant vaccine as per the name you can clearly understand it is also involved in hepatocellular carcinoma it prevents hepatocellular carcinoma via the prevention of hepatitis b virus blocks the activity of hepatitis b virus induces an immune response against hepatitis b surface antigen preventing the hbv infection it induces an immune response the immune response will be induced against hepatitis b surface antigen and hepatitis b virus is there they have the surface antigen they prevent the hbv infection with this less and the last one is therasis another live attenuated bacterial vaccine they target non muscle invasive bladder cancer non muscle invasive bladder cancer so the cancer which is not invading the muscle now or not invading the muscle anymore till that level we can use it to activate local immune response in the bladder to target and destroy the cancer cells if the cancer cell metastasis has not began if the metastasis have began and the movement of the cells is initiated uh, and it's moving inside the tissue layers muscle layers then we cannot use it but otherwise you can use this cancer vaccine okay that is therasis for you therasis cancer okay so that concludes our list of cancer vaccines that are available and i believe you have a clear idea to understand that we are not inventing one vaccine to get rid of the whole of a cancer because cancer is a very complicated disease a cell's natural behavior gets altered so all this variety that i mentioned seven varieties i i think i think i mentioned nine varieties uh, to you eight or nine varieties of vaccines i have mentioned which all modifies and modulates our immune system in order to trigger the immune system mediated cancer cell killing and clearance but still we are falling short to beat cancer that's it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this one in future thank you bye